left, obviously it's recording, okay, you see that? Recording top left. If you press the center button, up. okay, you're gonna okay. need, you know, this, this is mine at the moment, you're gonna need a, a pipe and a regulator to fit whatever gas you're gonna use. Yeah. So I'm not sure what you, gas you're gonna use. Are you, are you gonna use propane, butane? Are, are you likely to be in cold weather? Oh, if you're going to Scotland, you are going to be in cold weather. Yeah, so propane's going to be probably the, be the better one to go for. Oh, right. But if you're going on the continent, yeah. then I can you change. Might, you, might need, yeah, you might need to change for a different different gas because you won't be able to get calibre or whatever over there. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, that's okay, yeah. That's Here, uh, nice to know. Yeah. Here's the water. So, to fill your onboard tank, obviously is there. Um, so, whatever you do, don't put any diesel. Any idea of litres? I think it's around about 60 litres. Right, okay, thank you, yeah. Okay, so, obviously that's there. Yeah. Don't put anything else in it, like petrol or diesel. No. Okay. If we've had one customer who'd managed to do that. 240 inlet. Okay. I'll see you plug into there. That's your laser battery. So the battery we're just talking about. So that's your laser battery. So can that I get another one fit in, into there? A double oh, well, one? You, I don't think you can get one in there. You may be able to fit. A bigger well, one. But I'm like an engineer. size? Yeah. I'm not an engineer. So I, I can't say where where and what you can fit to these things. Right. Obviously I can just explain what you've got. That's your charger. Okay, so that will, when you've got 240 running, will charge your laser battery. Mm. Okay. Got you, yeah, lovely. Okay. So I don't I'll need to worry about that. That's, auto that's, that's automatic. Yeah, yeah that's all your automatic. Yeah. Just underneath here is your, you've got a waste tank and there's a drain, drain valve. Right, I don't know if you can see that. Just here, you can see that there. You point in the right direction. That's your drain valve for your waste tank. Normally on site, you'll have what is called um, a motorhome service point. Yes. Where you can top up water and drain your, your waste uh, waste tank. That's that's or, not when you is that when you're sited up. Yeah. So that, that's your waste that's your waste water. Yeah. Um, obviously coming from your taps and shower, or whatever. All collecting the tank there. Yeah. Normally on site, you'll see people obviously drive on and off pitch to to do that. Yeah. Some you can have. Uh, like, like the bollard there, you may have a tap or whatever on on your pitch. Yeah. You may be able to drain that on either into a container and dump it. So yeah. if you were staying on pitch all the time with this yeah. and not moving it on and off, you may may want you may want a container or you have to drive it off to See, the service. That's point. only for the water that goes into the into the sink and the yeah, shower. That's it. Yeah. Nothing else. Nothing that's else. Yeah. That's yeah. just your, your what they call grey water. Yeah. Okay. At the at the rear is your toilet cassette. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. So to release that, it's just you lift that yellow lever there and, and it slides out. If it's not sliding out easy, yeah. the likelihood is the waste gate, which is on the toilet, is open. If that's open, it won't, it won't allow that to come yeah. out. So if, if you it's suspect that, push it back in, yeah. go inside, make sure that gate is shut, which I'll show you shortly. Okay, then. And then it should, it should come out easy then. Yeah. Okay, so you just pull it out. Normally what we have inside here... What do you do then? Just turn? Yeah, that's, that's just turns right, out. Right, okay. So this is a nozzle to, for emptying. Also yeah. you can put the blue chemical, which you normally put in the bottom. You put a, a small amount of blue chemical, Yeah. which it shows you on the container how much you need to put in. Yeah. And roughly about half a litre to a litre of water. And that helps to break stuff, obviously the nasty stuff down before you... Yeah. So always you put that in before you use it. Elson, okay, so Elson Blue. That's the one, yeah. Okay, you can obviously wash it or clean it yep. by putting water in there and sloshing it round. Yep. Don't flush it around too much because there is a, a little ball sensor there that will let you know on the toilet itself that it is full. Ah, right. Okay? I was going to ask you But about if you that. flash around, it could loosen that and it could drop out and you, yep. you end up with no sensor there. Okay. Right, so there is a sensor on that. Brilliant. Okay, that just shuts there. But it, yeah, shuts yeah, and so it just locks. Yeah, got a lock Yeah, just push button. And that opens it. Okay. Obviously, there's your, your reverse camera. Obviously, you've got access onto the roof. Obviously, you've got, um, obviously you've got your yeah, right how, rack. How as well. do you climb onto that? It's uh, quite high up, yeah. I don't think it's got another ladder to fit to it. Some, some have a ladder to fit to it. I don't know if this one has that. It may be on top of the uh, bunk. Well, I'll walk inside that. Normally, you've got a clip on ladder. It's not, in it. it's not on here, no. No, no, no. no. That, that's your bike rack. Yeah. To get that out, obviously, just be careful you don't. Just these. So you've got clips there to hold it up. So just, just, just move away with it. So what you can do is just lift them up, pull that down, and pull it off that. Yeah. yeah. But that, I'll, I'll either pop off that way or that way. Yeah. Right. I'll, I'll get another extra strap to fasten around that anyway. Yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah. Just to make sure um, it's not. Right. So that's the height because I'm buying a monkey bike. Right. 
So I, I, well, how heavy is that? Enough for a, an adult to lift up. No, I'm going to say how heavy is it, because oh. obviously there's a limit of what these can actually carry. Oh. Right. Well, um, well, it might not be just that, but the, the actual fixtures there, which... It's, it's as heavy as three... No, no, it's going to be heavier than three push bikes. If it's, if it's liftable, you're probably looking at, what, 25 kilo? No. Is? Or is it more than that? More, more than that. I think... 25 kilo, 25... I've, I've I'm, I'm going to say 30, they 35. Do, yeah. The actual frame of these... But it's uh, not going to be out here. Wet, it's something like... These, these frames will take about 50 kilo. Yeah. But... I'm not sure what obviously right. the, the wall will take. Obviously, yeah. not. It, it, obviously it won't be out here, it'll be in there. Yeah, but obviously there's a, a limit to what the wall, the um, actual construction can take. But I'm, I'm, I'm not aware of that, I'm afraid. But. Right. Okay. Well, I'll, 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 I'll just have to here. find out off the manufacturers and their fittings. Yeah. To say, yeah, if, if that will take right, never thought about something that. like that. So it's either that to... or you can, might, might be able to use like another, a tow another, bar. A, a tow bar. Oh, yeah, I've seen tow bars with their plates fitted. Yeah, so you may be able to have something else like that fitted to actually, yeah. which would be easier to put on if you're not going to be towing anything. Yeah, it'll be have lower to a, put on. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, like, as far have as some lights on the back of it and things like as that. As far anyway. as I'm concerned, you know, the bike is a fold-away bike which I'm going to be putting in the in the garage. Right. Or in Whatever. inside. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, you got your garage. Said before, obviously, get yeah. Also, make sure you secure it with the hand you've got there, which is pinned into there. Okay, so obviously, make sure that is secure so you do all that whacking off yeah. the back of the head in load. Yeah. Okay, and then obviously, you've got your lift up bed, and then you've got the, this little flap that comes down that's got the little catches that pop into there. So, obviously, make sure if you're going to put it in that position, make sure it's going to be secure. Yeah. And it's not going to drop down when you're, <coughs> when you're travelling. <coughs> Whatever it is, might get damaged, obviously. And it's obviously got your all in extra bits. Is, is when that's for, you know, when the uh, thing comes out? Yes. Is that for the sides or yeah, something? Yeah, that's your sides, yeah. <coughs> right. Okay. That's okay, yeah. And you got a, yeah. I've got a vent there. If you want to stick your hand on there, there's a nice warm air coming out of that. So as you can warm this area as well, so whatever you've got stored in this area, right. it, can, it can remain. Okay. That, um, that's, that's coming from the, the boiler, which is behind here. So if you've got a wet, what we call a wet ah. locker as such, so anything that's wet will drain out. Yeah. Bottom there if you want to. Great Maybe stuff. You. Okay? Yeah. Shut that back up a bit too. Push, push all the warmth back into the well. Oh. If, you, if you've got that open. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Right, shut that one on. So you've got covers. Right, they don't they don't lock automatically no, no, until you actually to turn, turn with, with, with the key. Right, this right. is your boiler vent. Okay, so obviously if you're going into snowy climbs where make sure that stays clear. Yeah. Otherwise it'll fail. Okay, so obviously you don't want it failing, especially in this weather. Got a nice warmth coming out of there as well. Okay. And you've also got your fridge, which you've got fridge vents covers on at the moment. To get them off you just turn that and it will So in in the colder weather, you may need to put these on. Yeah. Or yeah. in sort of hot weather you may take them off. So it's just, right, it's just, a, yeah. just that turn button there, and they'll, they'll just pop off. And they just, those two come off? Yeah, that's it. Right, but in the cold weather, work otherwise, if I if I think it's not working, how will I know that it's not working properly? Uh, you, it'll, it'll be the temperature inside your fridge. If the fridge is hotter than what you normally expect it to not, be. If it's not, if cold, not yeah, enough, if not cold enough, in your fridge. then this isn't circulating yeah. properly and working. That's it. Yeah, got you. Yeah. Right, this one here, now it's not the fuel for your vehicle. I'll do for Graham to mention it. Right. Got onboard generator. Okay, so that well, they were on about a generator, yeah. onboard generator. Yeah, so you've got an onboard generator. That is the fuel for that. So that's petrol for your generator. Normal petrol, not yeah. too, not too. No, it's, it's a four stroke. So make sure you you're only putting petrol in that. Yeah. Your diesel for your vehicle is there. So if that's the petrol generator. Yeah. The generator is sitting underneath here. Right. So that that will power your two forty. Well, where, where where's, not up. where's the exhaust for that then? Is that? It's, it's, I think it's that one, yeah. <laughs> Just have a look, I think it is. Oh, that might be the vehicle one. I'm not sure, to be quite honest. Obviously, I don't work on these vehicles, so. No, that, the that's, that's right. The exhaust will that's be right the way. That, no, that's right the way through to the other. Yeah, so it, it obviously. Where the exhaust is for that then? Obviously, the generator is sitting in that box there. Yeah. But obviously, yeah. Just, it's just making sure. Is, you is that like what I call the Ebus backer? 
which was no, uh, no, 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 no. That's uh, you, nothing you'll, to do with it. No, that's um, tends to be a heater, heater system off the diesel normally. Uh, one, yeah, of, one of them goes. But this is that. yeah. But that that is your vehicle fuel layer. Okay, so that's it's your diesel layer. Okay. Yeah. So diesel layer it should say diesel. Petrol layer. Obviously, they are very close. So just be careful. Yeah. So there's no there's no other lock on that. No, because you can't no. you can't open it not until no, the doors yeah, open anyway. That's right, yeah. So you, yeah. no way that anyone can force that one open. Or they'd have to make a fair bit of damage if they wanted to try and get in there. So make sure we're putting diesel in there, petrol in there. So the black yeah. one petrol. The white oh. one on the other side is with full I'll, water. I'll get the uh, letter set people to put yeah. some oh, signs yeah. on for it's, us. It's, it's best to a lot safer, yeah. Petrol inboard Jenny. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, you, you can end up in all sorts of trouble. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I just. Realise so if you need to access the. Is that all right? Is that all right? I don't know, it's a bit smoky, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I might have had the. Probably what it is is the cooker. There you go, I'll have a look. It could be the, the cooker. Oh, it's a, we'll have a look at that in a second. Yeah. You see that? Uh, that's your, your bonnet pull, is there. Okay. Perhaps that's why you left the door open because he smoked it a bit. Okay, so your bonnet pull there. Okay, yeah. You see that, yeah? That's only for the seats. It's clear now, isn't it? So, yeah, he's probably had the. Uh, he's, he's, he's fired up the burners just to see if they're okay. Yeah. Lift your bonnet. Well, was that bonnet already popped then? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah I, just, I, just popped, oh, I just popped it for the, yeah. the thing. See that? That's your catch there, which is just underneath here. Okay. And to release the bonnet catches. You have to lift it slightly and just let it off there. Yeah. So obviously make sure that's up before you. That's quite heavy, heavy bonnet. Obviously oil dipstick. Obviously you get your washing bottle, your servo oil, and your back. Obviously that's your vehicle battery there. Yeah. No, I was going to say right. So it's a, it's, a, it's bigger than a normal battery. Oh that's yeah, a, yeah. That's right, it is, it's a big engine to turn over diesel as well. Yeah. So that is actually power. That's for obviously your vehicle, not your. And not the leisure side as, as such, or the habitation side. Daimler Chrysler, do you know? Yeah. Obviously it's Merc. Daimler's Merc as well. Uh, can I get a clear? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Right, what we'll do, we'll go inside now. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Show you there. That's why they were looking at changing our burners. I'll get the fan up and running. What we've got here, obviously apart from they've got that door catch. So if that, that's in that position, obviously if you're walking in and out, it won't catch on the door. So you have to make sure it's in that position before if you want the door before to stay shut. shut. Yeah. Right, okay. Also we've got here is your step. That, yeah. That one there. That's your step in and out. Yeah. Okay. You've got light switches. That switches all the lights on and off. First one, yeah. second one is your only light, just just above the door. Right, okay, yeah, I wonder what they're for. Okay, right. If you'd like to go inside, shut the door. Should I, uh... Oh, there, there's, there's... <laughs> I think that's the line. Yeah, it's Well done, I'll just get that fan running there. Obviously, he's trying, he's trying to find the burners up this. Obviously, that's why he... Did you get that one? No. All right, to start that one up, you just press the centre button. So you can go in or out. That one's showing an hour out. So just press that. You just keep pressing it and speed it up. Right, so that's going out now? Yeah, that's pulling yeah. out now. If you press that button, the opposite button, that will slow it back down again. And it, it can turn it around and bring the air in that way as well. You got the vent up? Yeah, I've got the vent up. Well, I'll, just, I'll just open that vent for now. Yeah. And draw, draw a bit of air out. Okay. Yeah. Right, you've got your ladder there, look. Do you have to. Oh, right, that's. Yeah. Is that for outside or here? I'm not sure, actually. You know, look, it could be that one for here, actually. I'll have to ask, I'll have to ask the engineer. Well, is, is it for the same? Maybe, same maybe, well, without check, checking it, because uh, yeah. some do have two ladders. I think you, you can't climb Yeah, you're not going to jump, climb up, that, down, jump yeah. up to that, no. Yeah. Right. <coughs> okay, so what we got, obviously, 
bit of control panel at the back here. Control panel obviously for this 